this is not what you want on show day, is it? No. Hello, welcome back to another video. I am currently at home getting ready for the first horse show of 2024. So luckily today's show is not till the afternoon. Not exactly sure whether I prefer it like this or not because I don't know I think I prefer the rushing around first thing in the morning get it all done get the horses done straight to a show. Um, we've had a bit of time this morning so I've already been down the yard and I have mucked out and I've come back gonna grab a cup of tea and get ready and go to the show but it's half 11 we will not be in i don't think we will be in till about two three o'clock the venue is only 20 minutes down the road but i'm still panicking that we're going to be late um the afternoon classes aren't starting till after 12 o'clock and there is three classes and a championship before i'm in but i'm still panicking so i'm gonna get dressed now so at least that bit is done. The venue we're going to is Berry Farm and it's really quite cold there so I don't want to be getting changed in the back of the horse box in this weather. It's, it's sunny and warm today but not warm so yeah I'm gonna get dressed and then we will have to start loading the horse box. So that's me dressed. Always have blue shirt on, yellow jumpers, um, I do have a vest top under this to try and stay warm as well, but I will just put my show jacket on. The dogs are fighting in the background. <laughs> I will put my show jacket on last minute just before I go in the ring and my show boots, but I'm going to wear my Equidry coat now whilst we go and load Willow because as much as we try to stay clean, it never happens, does it? So all the tack has been cleaned and everything gets dumped on the kitchen table till we're ready to load. But yeah, now time to get all this into the horse box and go and pick up Willow. So now back down the yard, this is all the show bits that we're gonna take with us. So I'm gonna load this lot into the horse box and then we're gonna get Willow out and uh, see if he stayed clean for the night. I'm also gonna grab his fleece to go with this because I, I travel him naked because he is really quite a hot horse traveling. But as I say, Berry Farm is really quite open and breezy up there. So I don't want him to get cold whilst he's stood on the horse box. So I'll grab his fleece. So he has stayed clean bandages on but the mane is driving me insane because this bit keeps flopping over and it's gone static so I'm gonna have to sort that bit out when we get to the show let it try and lose the static and clearly his fringe was hanging out the hood last night so, so yeah we've got a um, little bit to sort out when we get to the show but yeah I'm sure we do it Right, let's load him and go. Are you ready? Are you ready for the first portion of the year? You can be a good boy. So we are here and it looks uh, really busy. We're just going to head down to the ring now to see what class they're on and see how long we've got left to get ready.
show day, is it? Right, so we're back going again. Luckily, this show is only 20 minutes down the road from us. Our middle son has actually come with his truck behind us. Um, if he was just coming to watch the show. But, so he is on hand if we need him. And it is a straight road to home, so we're just gonna try and keep going, get Willow home. We do have recovery on this truck, but because we're so close to home, we're just try gonna try and get it home. Yeah, we're gonna keep staggering at home. We do know it had a fuel pump problem last year or the year before, was it? It was last year. Um, but we had all the, oh, it's shaky. We had all the fuel sensors and everything changed. The only thing we haven't done is drain the fuel tanks. We don't know whether there's some rubbish in the fuel tank that it keeps dragging up basically and cutting it out. But yeah, we're gonna get it home, hopefully without the aid of recovery and I'll get it in the garage this week because of course this is not what we want for show season is it Lewis? No, we get this sorted. Yeah, let's get home. So that was complete drama from start to finish. So um, we are currently now at home. We, when we got to the show, I went to get my number like usual and they'd run through the classes really quickly. So I had to just get him tacked up and ready to go. So we went into the warm up. The warm up was extremely small, so couldn't really get a canter. There were so many of us in the warm up. So I went and done the class, which you would have seen already. They split the class. He went really well. For his first show of the year, he usually fidgets a lot. We done this show last year, this was vlogged, so I'll link that vlog from last year down below. Fidgeting a hell of a lot usually, but he's, he stood really well this year, really pleased with him. And of course, I don't have a school, it's really hard. And the school that we hire is flooded, everywhere is underwater. So trying to keep him fit this winter has been so hard and he, Willow usually prefers right rein canter. He's a very right-handed horse and I'm left-handed. So we've, he was very weak always on the left canter. So we've done a lot of practicing with that. Um, so was, he can get left rein canter perfectly fine now. Excellent. What we have been struggling with this winter is getting the right rein canter again because he felt so much stronger on the left. So I was worried because when I do my individual show, I walk out a few strides of trot and then go into right leg canter. And I was panicking a bit on whether he'd get that. And loads of the horses were sort of backing off because of going away from the other horses. But he got the right rein canter, really pleased with that. I haven't looked back at the footage yet, um, but I thought he'd done a nice show. The first initial pull-in lineup we weren't placed anywhere we were right down the bottom of the line there was 18 that entered but i don't know how many was actually in the ring with us today um so yeah then we done our individual show done our trot up and then we ended up coming ninth out of everyone which i was really pleased with what we went to do today was the royal international amateur class so it's for all the home produced and amateur horses and owners and this class can always be a bit funny to do because you've got the different breeds of horses. So, of course, the Highlands, Fells, Dales, Welshes, they all go differently. Um, so when you're going round, they go at a slower pace than Willow does. So I feel like we're always being slowed down a bit. But he went well. I'm pleased with him and uh, there's not much more i can ask of him you know we just now need to get him out more do more get him fitter get him stronger and keep going with it the horse box has got us home as i say this is i thought we had dealt with all the fuel problems clearly i think next thing is to drain the tank 
So, but the venue we went today, no motorways, basically one straight road from my yard, just 20 minutes down the road. So, and as I say, my middle son come with us as well to watch me with his truck behind. So they got it going again and it's got us home. So yeah, I'm just going to unload the horse box now and uh, chuck Willow out in the field for the afternoon because it is only about half three, I think it is. So I'm gonna chuck him out for a bit, unload all this and I'm going home for a quick cup of tea before we come back to finish the ponies off later. But if you like what you see, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you again soon for the next one. Bye.